For now, though, we need to find a way out and get some stone from what looks like metal pots. Can't go through that unless we can get rid of those purple blocks. Hey, it's Poonies! Why are the children out at night? That's not a good thing. Can I take everything out? No. Sup! Everybody dies. And... And Delsus just shoots from afar and yeah. Also, I like how his crossbow looks like a... cross. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional or not. It really doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Somebody else can yell it. You don't have to hog all the time, Clayne. Hey, there's a treasure here, but there looks like some dangerous stack electricity. The animation kind of looks a little weird. Red removal runth. Runth. Okay. That's my answer to messing that up. Can't get through there, so nothing we can do. Actually, no way. I need to go this way. So we're going to get a few battles, that's for sure. Ooh, hey, we got a new enemy finally. We have a brownie. He is a masked uh, imp thing. I don't know what to call it. Um. Oh yeah, one thing I do like about battles is that you have enemies that can hide and kind of disguise themselves. Um. Dance. Does that work? Oh yeah, and these brownies are really powerful. I mean, Delsus is the highest level, and that did a ton of damage. That's all for you. So, these higher level enemies, we need to kind of get rid of right away. Pope. <laughs> that little pony did 10 damage. That's pretty incredible. But, um, we didn't get to see that brownie do one of its uh, hardest hitting attacks, where it's like a 3 hit combo, and... It probably could kill Klain, but probably not. Hey, there we go. We got to level up. And we're going to get wide item to level 2. Now, not everything necessarily gets a level. Some stuff might just be maxed when you get it. Uh, can I go that way? Oh, yeah. This is off limits because... Naturally. And unfortunately, we can't drop onto a log to surf. We have to get rid of that. Such a shame. Here we go again. Oh yeah, so one thing I was mentioning is that the battles can definitely be really tricky depending on what the enemy formation is. It... I would say it's kind of like, uh, what's the game called? Um, Robotrack? Oh, here we go. Get out of the way. So, the skills all have, like, some different... Oh, here we go. Encel Strike. Holy crap, I forgot it hit that many times. So, yeah, you want to be at full health if you can. And, as I mentioned, Klain has the largest bar... Oh, actually, no. I, I can show off this. Wide item. So, oh, shoot. I don't have... I have to actually have an item. Never mind. But, um, man, synthesis. That's what I want. So we're just going to go ahead and heal Lita. I was going to heal everybody, but can't do it because I forgot to make more. That's okay. So, yeah, I was going to say power... Bl oh, miss. Uh, power blast has a bigger range than just the standard attack, so that's actually really helpful. But some skills also change your positioning, so that can be good or bad depending on if the enemy has AoE attacks. In this case, fortunately not. And Lita gets Force Blast, which is pretty nice. It's a very heavy costing um, mana blast, sort of. And I want to level it, but... Claws don't take too much to level here. So I'm going to focus on that first. Um, oh wait, man, this is this. Okay. Let's go ahead and create a couple just in case I need it at some point. Okay, okay, let's go! Wow, you're really aggressive there. Ooh, 
this is easy. I wish it would have commented it smelled like cake, but not really. Yeah, so now here's what I was going to show. If uh, you get plenty of um, friendship going on with your mana, then you'll be able to possibly get extra mana items. Also, there's that right... Yeah, everybody else is getting a chance at a barrel. And we got a stone. Nice. Fortunately, if we use our uh, terrain the way it needs to be, we can get items a lot earlier than you would expect, like getting some coal. Uh, get up there. Here we go again. Oh no, it's a single brownie. What am I going to do? Uh, sorry about that. I had to change something. So, Lita's new move costs 22 to cast, and she only has 26. So, it's worthless. Oh, yeah, so, uh, Clayne almost died, just like that. And, I'm gonna go ahead and use a heal jar, cast it, because I don't want to use the ones I have in case I need wide item. And, one of the things I probably should have mentioned is that Clayne is one of the slowest characters in the game, so... That can hurt. And we got a Pico Hammer. Because we naturally want to have the item that almost felled Clane. So. Do not enter the sewer. You know, you could put it somewhere else where we can actually see it. Instead of putting it in the middle of the sewer. It's kind of like, uh, don't cross this bridge halfway planted into the bridge. Because that makes sense. We got more stones. I kind of need those because we got that red legion. Oh, what's this? Authorized persons only. Oh, uh, yeah? Uh, get over there. Is this going to have more? Oh, it's got logs. Okay. And <laughs> that log was a trap. Here we go again. And those poon. Ooh, there we go. We got a new enemy. We got a red poony because it's hopping mad that we killed its family. Um. Okay. I need... Yeah, I can take out this group here. But this red pony is going to cause a lot of damage if we're not careful. But we're okay, because we're not going to get ganged up. I mean, seriously, you got to appreciate these ponies, because they're just really cute and squishy looking. Because they jiggle like jello. And I'm kind of hungry for some jello suddenly. There we go. Clan leveled up and he got more defense. He didn't get any more HP or life as they called it. Um Do I want white item again? No. I'm not leveling up Mace Attack, because that's more only for his physical, and that only works if he's actually got a physical mace. You might have saw that in the uh in Hegel's weapon shop. Come on, give get, give Delsus a turn. Barrel. There we go. You listen to me. Good job. And we grabbed something. It was a chest with a blue mana stone thingy. Barrel. Barrel. Another small gear. Come on, give me more red legion. Or a big log. Yeah. Barrel. Skinny log. We have no room for that. But maybe I can give... How did I switch just like that? Um, that's what I wanted. Uh, get some magic grass out of there. Potato. Yeah, you're feeling super now. Oh, be worried. Don't use the manas on them because that would be a waste. I mean, Barrel. you might be able to get more eventually, but I wouldn't worry about it. Wait, did that say big log? I could have sworn I didn't see that before. Okay, those are all boxes. Yeah, we got everything we need. Uh, we are at the exit. Don't worry about that chest. It's not important right now. And we are out of here. Unless we get ambushed. Oop, that's some weird lag. 
Huh, this area looks familiar. Oh yeah, that's right. It was the back of the shop. Uh, oh, hey, that was another fairy. It wasn't Popo. Uh oh. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, okay, they retreated. They gave up. No need to search for us anymore. Come on out. The coast is clear. Why are you whispering if the coast is clear? We need to hide you somewhere. Let's go home then. It, they know where we live. I, is that the best place? You should stay out of cabin for a while. That would probably be a good I idea, especially since a lake, huh? Oh, okay. Didn't even ask for our permission to leave on that quest. Oh, and an outdoor theater. There's a small village there. It's not much, but you should be fine. That's not much confidence. Thanks for saving me, dude. Yeah. Stay out of trouble, okay? You're an alchemist, right? How about we work together to bomb some dongos? About that? You seem like a cool guy. Sure. Let me in on the adventure. I'm Uru, Mana of Fire. Nice to meet you. Hey, that's the mana we needed. Now we can make that herbal drop. Uru, the Mana of Fire, agreed to help. But that's not all. Aw, oh, sweet! We've got a new teammate. You may now use Destructive Destruction Blast. Would you like a tutorial on that? Eh, sure, this one's actually pretty good. Doesn't that sound kind of redundant, though? But then again, so is Destruction Blast. You learn to use Destruction Blast to destroy obstacles on the map. You sound a little hesitant there, Clayne. Are you foreshadowing something there? Whoa, oh. Hold up. It's my turn to do this. All the special guests. Why don't you teach us? When you want to destroy something, rotate the action dial here and press the square button. Square button. Of course, there are some obstacles you simply can't destroy. I see. So, you should experiment to discover what works and what doesn't. And it's not just these objects that you can either destroy or can't Woo! destroy. Experiments rock! Let's try this one! But we don't have anything to demo on. Oh, hold on! Uh, what do you do? Oh. <laughs> well, we just turned into ash. Popo, you are you're kind of asking for it now, aren't you? Uh, I was just demonstrating that the bomb won't work on humans. Got it? No, we got a bomb. I already made that joke. So don't mess around. Uh-oh. You were just trying it on me. Oh, wow. And one last piece of advice. Every time you find a new mana, you learn a new skill. Ah, yes, that is absolutely true. Although it's semi not true in one instance. At least I vaguely remember. We'll get to it eventually. So go find some mana. Yeah. Also, you were on a kind of weird plane there, Popo. I'm not sure what that was about. And we can destroy things. Nice. Which means, technically, we should just go back into the sewers. But first... Oh yeah, we didn't mention Uru. So, he has the ability to drop the cost of fire to one. But he's very expensive if you're using light and power elements. So, I would not re recommend doing that. And we are going to build up his level because we kind of might need it at some point. I think we can get some better items. Event oh yeah, Sweet Londo. I can kind of do that. And I think we'll get more logs, so he should be okay for now. But Popo can heal us for a time, finally. 
He spins around like a record, and... Yeah, he also heals your mana, fortunately. Oh, yeah. What do you... Hey, I asked you something. Why did you become a Galgazette? Huh? Why do you ask? Oh, just wondering. You shouldn't use me to feel better about your decision. You know that, right? I seriously just want to know. Well, then... I guess I just want to have people who count on me. Why? I thought I'd feel more important if people were counting on me. Becoming a Galgazette allowed me to be important to people. Uh-huh. You're a Galgazette now, too, so you can't be a slacker. Who are you calling a slacker? <laughs> just kidding. I'm counting on you, Clayne. <laughs> Probably hitting to the fact that he's also the slowest character. Oh, what do you got there? Oh, is that a ring pop? I, I can't see what that red thing is. Looks like we won't be going back to Kavik anytime soon. How about Lake Farwell? Except, we can kind of do a few things before we leave. Um... Uh, what do I want to do? Eh, let's go to the... Let me see. I want to grab these first, because... Uh, no, grab that. Londos. Get get over there. Oh, I got too many. Okay. Can I... Oh, yeah, we can actually do some... I was going to say fusion, but it's some synthesis. Oh, we got another cutscene. Er, uh, hello. Hmm? Yeah? What's going on? Oh, what the... What? Clayne, you're just going to ignore the fact that she ate a rice biscuit in front of you? Or is it a rice cake? I don't know. A rice cookie? I wish I knew what that thing was. Mind if I visit your shop once in a while? Uh, yeah, she, she knows what's up. Do as you wish. And she eats another one. Oh, it's, oh, it's probably a rice ball, isn't it? You know, it's rude to eat while you're on the clock. It's my shop, and I'll do as I please. I happen to enjoy eating. Uh, huh, right. But the customer is always right. Which is true in some form. Now when you're the customer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, it's his music. Yes. So this is supposed to be sort of like the comic relief bit. Well, what do you say? Calm down, Lita. Did you hear what she said? She's the rudest person I've ever met. Please stop bothering the customers. What customers? The student's not even here. Oh, and they didn't even say anything. And then she just appears out of nowhere. She knows alchemy, that's why she's here. But, let's see what she's got. Um, oh, you, oh, she technically has Tingleberry, but she's sold out, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm not going to buy any of that, but we can actually make a bomb now. Can't make that, can't make that. But yeah, we have the Red Legion and the Fest Rock, so we may as well do something with it. Red Legion. We can use a Fest Stone or Fest Rock. I'm only going to use the Rock. It's a bit rough, and it's rough. Maybe it's too rough! <laughs> and there's a whole nine reviews. That's how many items we can actually carry. And in no time... We got a bomb! You got one bomb. It has a quality of zero, which I think is the best that it's supposed to be? Question mark? Bombs ready. <laughs> so, what's this bomb called? Come on, Clean. She just said it. Bomb. That's... What you called it? That's the best you could do? Is that the best you can do? Okay, I should just put that sound clip in there. 
Why are you so worried about what I name my items? You need easy to remember names so you're okay in the heat of battle. That, that's true. I mean, if I called it the Super Ultra Champion Bombos Turbo XDX plus Alpha. God damn it, it's like, are we trying to make a Street Fighter joke here? The enemy would kill you before you finished asking for it. You have way too much time on your hands. Oh dear god. <laughs> this game is too good sometimes with the dialogue, and I think that's one thing I like about this over, um, what is it, uh, LT Irish 2 at least? I do, I'll get to that when I have another chance. Okay, let's see, does she say anything else? No, okay. I think this is a good place to, oh no, wait, actually I could uh, make some more items, except from Norman. Because there's actually some drinks here. We got Kakuri Liquor, which... Oh, we don't have red wine. I And Kakuri um, nuts are pretty much required. Oh, oh ale smells odd? <laughs> I kind of never would have guessed. It's a little sweet, and it's hard. And it's worthless. That's not... Those aren't reviews you want to hear for your liquor. But, we got liquor, so that's always good. I don't drink it. Don't drink it straight, <laughs> but mixes a nice drink. I could have sworn it said something else. How about this Kikuri liquor? Judging from the name, I doubt it's very good. Well, it's almost entirely alcohol. The name is kind of a warning. Oh, I, I, I wasn't sure if Delsus would say anything, but I, I guess they made it so that you make it before he joins, but eh, whatever. Uh, peach cocktail. We don't have milk. Actually, wait, we can use goat milk, can't we? Yeah, let's do that if we can. Let's use Londo. Actually, no. Let's use a uh, sweet Londo. I'm not going to use a Tingleberry because... Wait, we still have one? Oh, no, wait. Norman ended up... Oh, shoot. Actually, hold on. Um, if we're using these ingredients, we make it reviewed again. I don't remember what that was supposed to mean. But, yeah, we got a ton of reviews here. Fortunately, they kick out the sort of worthless ones and just keep the higher rated ones. Yeah, like that one dropped. And we got a unique scent. That's promising, definitely, for sure. There you go. We got a peach cocktail. Oh, yeah. I don't drink liquor, but I'm sure somebody will. It's too strong, rather childish, a lot cheap, sweet and sour, and unique. Oh, unique scent. That's Wait, I already said that. Try this one. It's called a peach cocktail. Hmm, smells good. If you like it so much, why don't you order one? I'll stick with goat milk, thanks. Here you go. Oh. Ugh, I can't drink it. This, it's way too sweet. Where is the period after that sentence, Delsis? Shame on you. You're too drunk. Huh? I never thought I'd see the day when Dallas turns down a drink. Hey, I drink plenty of booze. I just can't stand chick drinks. And there you go. Uh, oh yeah, that's still the same. I think there was one more item on the list. Uh, what was it? Oh, grilled fungo. Now we have everything we need for this one. A lot of dancing, peppers, smoking, all the traits that you don't want to do. And we want the cast can canola oil. And we're going to make only one because I don't have much of the fresh stuff. Oh man, that combines super sweets. 
Hot, sour, and slippery. Really? Well, let's see how it turns out and see if it really is as slippery that we have to catch it. Well, it's on a platter, so it's grilled and ready to go. A classic fungo dish. And... He didn't say anything. I, I kind of wonder if we need to have a certain character in our party in order to actually get the scene. Oh, hey! And sometimes you can get synthesized items to appear on tables, so naturally we will commit the ultimate sin of uh, putting our feet up on the table. Because shame on us. Uh, oh, wait. I want to grab these. At least that one. So, I think this is a part where I'm going to call... Actually, wait. Was there anything up here? Oh, there's a, a guy here. And these kids... I, I'm trapped. Time for a smoke break. Yep. That was important. That's why I went there. Okay, we're going to go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and save because... Um, this is probably a good time to call it, and next time we will head to Lake Forwell because we are on the run because we're fugitives for saving a mana and refusing to join the army. So uh, this has been Tapris, and I'll see you next time. Hmm, I guess it does smell like cake in here. At least, I hope it does, and not burning cake. Stay away from my cake, Uru!